Hello and welcome to Cinder Demon. I'm going to be playing some Civilization 5. So this is going to be a net new let's play. Um, we're going to be playing Cutnam Plus Huge King. Uh, I sometimes play Emperor or Immortal, but I feel like just playing King now because I haven't played for quite a while. Like I believe last time I played was like half a year ago or something. So I haven't really played the Brave New World. I've Another half a year ago, it's, it's way less. Somewhere in the summer vacation I've played it. In the beginning of the summer vacation, I think. So that's a quarter of a year ago. Just around, just before Brave New World came out, and then Brave New World came out, and I started playing a bit. So I've only played once, uh, no, twice, Brave New World, I think. Just as it came out, I played Venice and I played Poland. Um, so yeah. Now I don't think any of the others were like amazingly cool that I wanted to play. Sulu's meh. Don't really like it. Brazil was not a big fan of that, as far as I remember. Not a big fan of this. Um. Yeah, so there's a lot of good choices, but I don't feel like brought. Oh yeah, I played a little bit of Indonesia as well in a multiplayer game. <coughs> um. So yeah, I'm thinking of playing Poland again, because they are actually kind of cool. Yeah, you know what? Let's play Poland. Poland it is. And advanced setup we have. Everything normal. We're gonna go with quick combat and quick movement because I can't be asked to watch as they move around. So let's just start this. Uh, I don't have any sound on uh, to make sure that you can hear me and the music isn't too loud. So also, I usually don't play with sound in, uh, uh, in Civilization Five since I don't really like the sounds. I like the game, but the sounds are kind of meh. So I usually just play music in the background and play when I'm not cast uh, casting. It's not really casting, is it? It's just talking, talking to my imaginary friends on the internet, which is semi-imaginary. One of you have to have a teddy bear. I like to imagine that one of you is like Annie or something. Um, this is a pretty decent spot. Yeah, it's gonna be fine gonna lift with that and we move over there looking good let's get you know what let's get a scout first and we will go for we need we're gonna get we're gonna need calendar so let's just get towards that and everybody builds cities and because of derp we are in the bottom and that's just how it is now we're gonna go over here hey we found a ruin Great. Everybody likes ruins slash goody huts. I still like calling them goody huts. So if you don't know, I well, I guess I've never played Sif stream, so you shouldn't know. Otherwise, you're really creepy. Uh, I have like um, 100 hours on the original Sif Five, then 400 on Civilization Five. So I'm. I do know sort of what I'm doing. Uh, I'm not like all random stuff here. Um, so yeah, I, I do play this game a lot. It's just a long time since I've played it. Uh, it usually comes in like periods where I play it tons and tons and tons and then I play nothing. So like for one month I'll play 100 hours and then I won't play at all for three months. And yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. So we're gonna scout around for new spots to settle and let's get a monument. So we're gonna get free social policies anyways, but I still like to get the monument. I think it's gonna be fine. Ah, another rune. Great. 
So let's get up here. Ooh, another rune. Oh my god, next turn's gonna be great. And we're probably just gonna get something like Baron Encampments and Barbarian Encampments. Or Barbarian Encampments at 50 gold or something silly like that. If I know my luck, that's what we're gonna... Okay, so that was 75 gold and then we're gonna get Barbarian Camps. Now we got a map. Well, we found somebody. Okay, so Portugal's up there. Which means there's not gonna be much point in scouting far f away from this to the east. So we're gonna go down and left and up. Okay. So that was useful. Saves us some time. There's no point in scouting around over here since we're not gonna go over there before. But this is actually a nice place. I would like to have a city, like here, somewhere. Okay. Looking pretty decent. I guess this might be a major lake or something. Oh. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get a settler down here. Yep. Uh, okay. And... Yeah, everything looks kind of... It's kind of normal, not much to do right now. Just scout. It's always good to get us... Oh! Okay, we're going to go east. This might be a waste of time. Because if he'd started scouting south, he's going to make it way before us. But it's worth a shot, I think. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get calendar first, and then we're gonna go for... I don't know, maybe riding f first. Yeah, we're gonna go for riding. Uh, let's get over there. Wait, what? Oh, well, whatever. Okay, so it doesn't seem like he's anywhere near, since the most direct route would just be like this. Unless he walked like around here and comes from the east. I think we're gonna get it. So I'm gonna want to take this guy a bit south so we can find out what's in here. Since there might be something cool which we could use. Oh my god, that was perfect. We just got... I was considering whether to go calendar or riding and we just get ri calendar for free so we did the perfect choice of taking starting riding I don't think that could have turned out much better like the best things you can get early game with the uh, NC5 in goody hearts pretty much is uh, plus 20 c uh, culture or plus or get a free tech but that's probably the best the two best so the free tech will always be good, uh, also later on in the game, whereas the plus 20 culture kind of gets like, late game it's like meh, uh, but late game you don't get free technologies because that would just be OP. Oh my god, we're getting a lot of ruins. Okay, so I want to get... I want to get a worker, but I s know there's a barbarian encampment really close, so we're gonna get the uh, warrior instead, so we can defend the worker once we actually get one. Because there's no point in having a worker if all he's going to be doing is standing inside the city. Might as well get something we can use here. Start to spawn. And it shows us nearby barbarian Cameron, which is this one. Well, that was not useful at all. Okay, so there's Tundra down here. We're not going to bother go too much into the Tundra because we don't want to expand into Tundra at any point. Oh well, the tundra isn't too large. Sometimes you get like large areas of tundra which is just annoying. Okay, so the warrior is coming back this way so I guess we're gonna send the scout up the west coast over here. And the warrior keeps going west and he can go northwest so get up there. And next. So I think we're doing pretty well. Uh, it's kind of chill at the moment. I'm going to go Liberty, I think. I feel like getting a lot of cities and looking cool. So that's what we're going to do. Liberty. And... Cont Ooh, another ruin. I don't think I've ever been this lucky. With the amount of ruins, at least. Guess there's... Oh yeah, there's a barbarian encampment there. <sighs> Annoying. Uh, not the best, but still way better than so much other stuff you can get. Like Bavarian encampment. Or c when you get, uh, like if, let's say there was... Uh, okay, so let's say there's a tile out here. 
and there's a ruin here, and you get to rounded area uh, map thing, and you only get water tiles. I've tried that once in a multiplayer game. Oh my god, that pissed me off. Oh well. So, yeah, that that could have been way worse. So we're getting pretty close to 200 gold actually, which is the mark where you start to actually be able to buy stuff. So. I highly doubt there's anything down there since Tundra... Oh, who's this? Well, that's the Portuguese. Okay, so the Portuguese scouted north and went this way. That's why there were so many ruins down here because they weren't there. That's pretty nice to know. So we have Tundra to the south and Jungle to the north, which should mean we're in the southern hemisphere. Um, so that's, that's cool, I guess. I don't know really what to say about that, but I guess we're in the southern hemisphere. And get those out of our land. Two turns until this is done. Well, we're just going to start the settler, then, the worker, then, and we'll change. No, no. There we go. Uh, let's get up there. Okay, so that's how it looks. We're going to have a little bit of trouble with barbarians for a little while. Um, but I guess we'll be fine. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and see if we can get the Great Library. I think there's a decent chance of us actually getting it. So shoot him and kill him. Great. And get down here and run left. There's a rune out there. There might be a land bridge. We should probably check that out. Because there might just be a land bridge, like if we go down here. But it might also just be a completely waste of time, so... Oh, that's oh my god, yes. Okay. Um, there's a lot of flat area right around here, and potential enemy most likely going to be flat area. So we're going to go for shock, and then we're going to fortify and get up here. Free tech. No, not free tech. Uh, next tech. Okay. Oh, we forgot to change this. Dum 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 dum. Show Q uh, to Q. No, that's gonna be too long. We're gonna get the library instead. Yeah, this will be done past turn 50, so the chances that we get is actually quite small. Can I get to press it? Oh, we have to go out. And then there we go. Okay, adapt. We're gonna get some more production. Also gonna oh my god that's good. Uh okay, so add to Q now it's thirty one turns, but I still think a library is gonna be better for us at the moment. Uh it's kinda risky to go for the great library because if we don't get it it's just gonna be a waste of time. But now we have Polish uh we have arches which were upgraded from um from scouts which gives them the ability to move twice, so <coughs> through any terrain, so they're really good at kiting. Which is nice. And yes, you can kite in step 5, it's not all stationary. And uh, our income's 2, that's kinda low, but I think we'll be fine. And let's get over here. Let's get over there. Okay, so I don't think there's much more to the south. I guess we're just gonna go check. Oh yes, where are you? Okay, she's all the way to the north. So I guess we're just three people in this continent. There might be more, but like, I just like uh, the distance just match really well. Like there could be one in between, but I'd highly doubt that. Um, yeah, but I don't. Of course, I don't know how the island looks to the east at all, so I could be completely wrong. Let's get over there. And Warsaw is about to grow. And in 13 turns we get a f settler. Okay, so let's just shoot him and then he's gonna run at us and probably hit us. Or he's gonna be a pansy and 
also he might be he might go down here and get flanking bonus and then attack over here. That could happen as well. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna go down here so he can't attack me from uh, a forest hill. So we can just kite him around here, force him to attack me from planes, which is gonna hurt him. And that's why I like these uh, these. The uh, what do you call them? The scouts being upgraded, because you can just do tricks like that, <coughs> so they don't take any damage. Well, he might just get impatient there and just attack, but he most likely will go over here and then we just walk up here and shoot him. Yep, read you like a book. So we get another free shot. And what should we get? I guess animal husbandry wouldn't be bad. But then again, masonry, because we do have this which we want to actually use for something. So let's get over here and start beating up those barbarians. This guy will fortify. Next turn, now he's going to go down here and we can kill it. And if he attacks, he dies. So. Kite, kite, kite. Oh, yeah, he, he even went down there just to stand, so that was just a free kill. That's pretty pathetic. Okay, so we're gonna fortify this guy, because I think they're gonna attack him. With the flanking bonus, so we're gonna get the fortification bonus, and I think we'll be fine. Especially because fortification will heal us uh, later on. Okay, so. A free shot there. Now uh, he might walk over here, then we can shoot him again, then we can... When he walks up there we can go up here and get the bonus. So that's good. Uh, embassies. Well sure, we do know where you are, but whatever. That gave us a little bit more knowledge, but not really anything useful. England. Oh, England's actually pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna go for... Yeah. Early on it's just going to be really nice with the accuracy instead. So we're going to get up here. Get up there. And use the bonus. There we go. This guy. Attack. Good job. We could actually attack them and make sure these guys wouldn't lose anything. Major, but whatever. Still think we'll be fine. Uh, there's quite a lot of rebels, rebels, barbarians, but it's just going to take time. Okay, so the library is almost done, and once the library is done, we'll build the worker, and we get a uh, settler quite soon. Oh, he even even decided to attack the warrior, so that's perfect. We can take out both of them. Boom. Silly AI. Well, we would have been able to anyways, but we didn't lose any of these guys, which is the most important part, because this guy's job is to protect. He's actually supposed to be scouting. It was just quite convenient that he was just standing around there to fight the rebels. So, we sent this guy north, and we sent this guy over here. The reason I placed him here is because I know there's a preparing camp up here, and I want to defend against it but not let them into our land, so I want to stop them earlier. But I still want to be in our land, because it gives uh, more region per turn, so... Yeah, that's the thought process behind that. Okay, so this guy's almost... Go uh, yeah, he's, he's gonna have a tough time. Unless they keep going back and forth like complete idiots, but... It's fine by me. Alright, so we're gonna get this guy into the jungle and run around, see if we can scout just the bottom of bottom part of the jungle. So places that we want cities. A city up here